Takes us all back to what happened one year ago, the mass shooting on the Strip on 1 October. Tonight, Las Vegas remembers with messages of hope and healing. Good evening, everyone. So glad you're with us. I'm Jim Snyder. I'm Reed Cowan. We hope today has been meaningful for you at home. You know, throughout this day, we've been remembering the tragedy that changed lives and a city and really changed the nation who watched. The remembrances lead the way as our team coverage begins with Jeff Gillen live from the Healing Garden in downtown Las Vegas. Jeff, it's heartening to see so many of our neighbors down there tonight. It really is, Reed, and good evening, Las Vegas, from the Healing Garden, truly a hallowed spot now in our city. Behind me, as you can see, a big crowd. They will be rededicating the new permanent wall here tonight. This is just one spot today where victims and survivors have been remembered and honored, but not the only one. Today in front of Las Vegas City Hall, they held names of the 58 and prayed for them and all those hurt one year ago tonight. Hi, I'm Norma, and, and this is my friend Cheryl, Hi. and this is Danica. These three were on the receiving end of many prayers. They were there last October 1st. We were up in the front, we're all struggling, but we're here for the whole 58 that didn't have a chance to make it. Which brought Norma and her friends here to the steps of City Hall, where one year ago a shell shock city came to pray, where one year later a stronger city came to reflect. Pastor Paul Goulet. And I think Vegas has really stepped up. We became Vegas strong. We became united. At City Hall, in the crowd, there were a handful of survivors. I met three ladies from California. How are the three of you doing? Uh, we're together, hanging in there. Together we're strong. Yeah. That's what Stronger. we said leaving the event. Don't let, don't let go. We kept saying, don't let go. Don't let go. We haven't let go. Their night last October is seared in their memory. It's been a tough year. It really has been. Um, just the visions that go through your mind. But here they found comfort knowing they're not alone. Tina Valley is grateful the bullets missed her. A lot of grief, but thankfulness. I'm thankful. I get to go home. I get to, I went back home to hug my boys and tell them I love them. And every day that I can, I tell them I love them because I could have been one of them. She came here today to help deliver a message. Good prevails and Vegas is stronger. And back to life here at the Healing Garden tonight here at 10.05. They will be reading the names of the 50, 58 victims. 10.05 is the moment one year ago tonight that violence began. Again, a very moving scene here. Uh, the mayor is showing up here, I believe, at around 6.30. Live here in Las Vegas, Jeff Gillen, News 3, back to you. Jeff, our hope and prayer is that everybody behind you gets exactly what they came for tonight, a little hope, a little healing, and 